Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. I picked another cold one here. Uh, it was minus 45 Fahrenheit this morning with the wind chill, about 43 below with the wind chill Celsius. Too cold, but do what you gotta do when you live in Canada. <laughs> Let's see what we're looking at today. All right, so I am uh, super excited to show uh, this truck off. I've been waiting for this one for a long time. Uh, first of all, a huge thank you to Corny Dirksen and Koma uh, for purchasing this truck and being so patient with me. Uh, this truck was supposed to be here in September and here we are in February. Parts delays, global shortages, all that stuff that's going on in the world right now just sucks when this stuff happens, but it's out of my control, but doing our best, doing our best. So I'm so excited to bring this one. And the reason why it is a T680 next gen. And there was two things that I did on this truck that I've never done on a truck before. And uh, I'll show you right here. So this front grill has the black anodized grill so this is a blacked out grill so you can order that right from the factory which just makes this truck look awesome i love it uh, looking up at the front here we ordered it with the painted bumper and the led headlights and the fog lights integrated in there as well so everything is all kind of uh flows really nicely together i love we got a little bit of a mess there i'll show this side Ah, it doesn't matter. I'll show this side here. So we got this beautiful eyebrow that kind of goes up and over top of the LED headlights. Uh, just looks really sharp. Uh, when you order those, you get this bottom chrome piece down here. Uh, and that's what we're looking up at the front here. So this color, it is a graphite color here. I'll try and put the code up if I think of it. Uh, but it's got a really nice metal flake to it. Looks really good. Uh, we have the hood mounted mirrors that are black and then we did the painted uh, mirrors on the main mirrors to kind of black out this truck. Now if you look over here, we have the Alcoa Dura Blacks. First time that I've ever done these before. So I've always kind of wanted to do a blacked out truck and uh, this one looks pretty cool. I gotta say, uh, these Dura Black rims look really neat. Uh, we have the full chassis fairings that we get uh, with the new next gen. And then on the back here, some options that we've done as well. Uh, we put this uh, toolbox in at our store here and then put on these minimizer uh, poly half fenders on here as well in black, just to kind of black the whole thing out. Now, some people might see that we have, there were super long 
sleeper extenders on here. And we do, these are the 28 inchers and you can order them with this little latch right here. Sorry, everybody here. It is really cold here. I sure hope my camera equipment doesn't die on me, but uh, you just pull this down and uh, this would just slide out of the way. So now you have a lot easier access into the back of the cab here, like so. Uh, so looking at the back here, we have the single exhaust up the back of the sleeper. And uh, we did not order the uh, sleeper extender to be uh, flippable on this side, but you can if you want. Uh, lots of space down there. On the back end here, we have the Meritor 40,000 rear ends, 325 gear ratio with a three-way locking differential. And a quick and easy way to tell, you can see that piece right there. That's a little plunger. That's your diff lock right there. I'm just gonna step down now. And to put it back, it's very simple. Just locks. It's really cold. <laughs> it was frozen. This was frozen down. <laughs> there we go. Now it's locked in place. We got the Michelin X Line Energy D tires. Uh, and again, the Dura Blacks on the back of the truck. So this looks really cool. We got the Holland fifth wheel slide, the 12 inch slider on this one. And uh, like I said, we have open space over here. We did the bunk windows in bunk doors on both sides. And uh, let me show you under the hood here. Oh. It was uh, quite a bit colder here this morning. Right now it's pretty cold, but not as cold as it was this morning. Ah. Oh, those shocks are just uh, frozen. So this is the little bit larger hood. And the reason for that is it has a Cummins and it. it has a 500 Cummins uh, 1850 torque. It is the efficiency series. Uh, we have a 13.2 front axle and uh, we have your brakes right here. We have your drum brakes right here. We've got the Packer fuel water separator, boost terminals, the air chuck to fill, and uh, your coolant is up above, engine oil check, your engine oil fill is right over there. Oh, that wind is just killing me. On this side here, we have the washer fluid reservoir down low now. The turbo is right up there, and then your HVAC system. And I'm going in the truck. It is cold. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> it's so cold that I'm coughing, and it is freezing my lungs shut. Whoa. Wowzers. This is awful. All right. So uh, we'll just go across the dash here and kind of show what we got. Uh, so obviously it is the digital, the digital dash on here. Uh, so you can see here we have it uh, showing all the, the gauges and we also ordered a full gauge package on this truck as well. So you can have digital and physical gauges or if you want to have storage and all that, you can put that there as well. So now with the, the smart wheel, it is standard with the smart wheel on the digital dash trucks. So uh, you have all your controls right here and then you have your cruise control right there. This spot here is if you have the adaptive cruise option ordered and you can have that uh, in that location right there. Now down here we have the window lifts and the door locks and the mirror controls which are heated and then over here are some additional switches uh, for the interior lighting and uh, exterior light tests and so forth and your work uh, work lights. Now this is the diamond VIT interior, which does come standard now with this new color called Madrona. So it's got this orange uh, uh, kind of material stitching to it. So that's just a new running change that the factory has implemented. Uh, as far as the switches down below here, 
uh, mostly are the standard switches. Uh, this here is not standard, but this comes with a uh, AMT transmission, which this one has an 18 speed uh, ultra shift in here. So uh, that's a little bit about uh, the dash. I'm, I want to give you guys a quick tour on the passenger seat, which is a swivel seat. So take me a few minutes to just get this set up though. <laughs> All right, so uh, what we got going on on this side of the truck is we have the GT702 seat with the swivel option. So uh, first of all, I just want to show you how to do that. So on the front of the seat here, there is a air quick release button. You do not want that engaged. You want to have air in the seat because it will get caught and hung up. So it's really high. So I'm going to drop it down like so. And then what you want to do is on the front, there is a lever. You want to slide that all the way forward, which it almost was. And then just back a little bit. And then once that's engaged, the little lever right here, you flip that and everything slides around. Now I had the seat a little bit too far forward. And then you can see, now you can see that the seat is in the rear facing location. And you can also adjust two things on this seat. Uh, between the legs, there are two options here. The one on the right adjusts how much cushion you want under your legs. The one on the left adjusts how much tilt you want to have it. So you can actually recline the seat back like so, re recline the back of the seat back further, and then you have a spot you can put your feet up on the bed if you so choose. Uh, you can also use this as a workstation. If you want to do paperwork, you take this table and it just flips out of the way like so. Very easy to engage that. And then you can lift the seat up. From this side, you also have access to reach the fridge, which is right here. So I'm sitting and I can easily reach that and pull out anything I want. So you can kind of sit and relax and reach your food, uh, do your paperwork. Uh, now, if the truck is ordered with a TV, your TV could go here as well. Uh, but you can also sit back and just go on your phone or whatever you're using to entertain yourself while you're stopped for the evening. So uh, that's a little bit about the driver's workstation, the studio, uh, as some are calling the driver's studio. Uh, it, it's a really comfortable setup. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. So uh, that's a little bit about that. Let's finish up this tour in the bunk and I'll show you what we have back here. All right, so in the bunk here, uh, it has a lower bed here and this comes standard liftable. And I'll just show you how that works. First, you need to flip the table out of the way and then underneath here is a little lever, this little red lever. You pull that and then you lift it up. Then you have full access to everything underneath here. Now this truck was ordered with a pre-wire for an inverter. Now I talked about that in a previous video. Uh, so you can see the plugs right up there and right up there. And there, the orange wires, and there are some additional wires coming up through the bottom. That is for a customer installed inverter. So that's a, a really nice uh, feature that you can have. So you, you don't have extension cords running around the floor. The truck also is equipped with a factory installed S-Bar heater. So you can see that right here. And uh, that is a, just a takeoff. We ordered the truck with that from the factory and then we change that out for the um, for the toolbox that's outside, as you can see. So we'll just close this down. Now, underneath this mattress, I ordered it with what's called an EVA foam mattress. So what that is, is just this little piece of foam, like so. Otherwise, you just have basically the plywood or OSB bottom, 
uh, with the mattress sitting on top. So it's just a little bit more insulation so you have a little bit more cab comfort. Uh, right now you can see that the curtains are drawn on both sides of the windows, but those can come up very easily. And it's a really simple design, a little tape left over there. Uh, all that you gotta do is pull down and there's a hard plastic that's right here. And that would slide underneath there. And then just to prevent it from flapping around, you just flip that underneath. Very easy, one-handed operation. There it is on there firm. And then this can roll up and give you a little bit of light. And there is also a screen there so you have a little bit more airflow if you want to have that. As far as the upper bunk, easy to pull that down. You just pull that like so and it drops. And then you have a nice mattress up top. You can also order a back wall storage with two drawers or a rear shelf. Now, lastly, over here, uh, we have the rear controls. You have a bunk light for underneath the bunk right here. Here is a overhead light for in the sleeper, which you can also control from the cab. A power door lock, so you can lock the doors. And then this here is your heat adjustment or air conditioning adjustment for the sleeper. Uh, we have a power outlet, your fridge switch, and then there's the S-bar control right there. All right, may as well finish off this video right here in the bunk where it's comfortable. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you always coming back here every week uh, to watch these videos. And hey, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I'd sure appreciate it if you wanted to subscribe to my channel, uh, help me grow this channel. Uh, you can just click the link in the bottom corner here to hit subscribe. Uh, if you are interested in reaching out to me uh, as far as building your own truck, ordering a truck for maybe next year, uh, or looking at what we have for used trucks, you can go up to my website, thekenworthguy.com, and that will link you to what uh, Inland Kenworth in Winnipeg and across Canada has for sale. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and as always, have yourself the world's best day.